Welcome. So what I have here is x plus 6 divided by x plus 6 plus 1 plus x divided by 2x plus 1 divided by x plus 6. Ah. OK, so to solve a rational expression or a rational equation like this, let's get rid of the fractions. Right? So to get rid of the fractions, we need to determine the LCD. The LCD is the least common denominator. So we look at each one of these denominators and say, what is the smallest denominator that, or smallest multiple that all of these denominators will divide into? Well, since they share an x plus 6, but they don't share only one of them has an x, we know our LCD is going to be x times x plus 6. We don't need to include the x plus 6 twice, only our one time. So now, to eliminate our denominators, we multiply every single term times x times x plus 6. So we multiply every single term times our denominator. You have to make sure we multiply every single term because it's an equation, right? And whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. And you just can't multiply on one side. You have to make it equivalent. So x times x plus 6 times x times x plus 6 times x times x plus 6. Let's put a little parentheses around these. OK, so now by doing that, what we determine is the year my x plus 6's divide out. Here, my x's divide out. And here, my x plus 6's divide out. Therefore, I'm left with x times x plus 1 plus 1 times x plus 6 equals 2x plus 1 times x. So now, I can make sure I apply my distributive property. It doesn't matter which way you know, you're multiplying, right or to the left. You just distribute. So I have x squared plus x plus x plus 6 equals 2x squared plus x. OK, so now what I need to do is I need to solve my quadratic. So that means I need to get everything over to the same side and set it equal to 0. So what I'll do is I'll subtract an x squared. This becomes 2x. Um, so then I'll subtract 2x, which those will uh, subtract out to 0. So I subtract 2x. And then I'll have to subtract a 6. All right. So therefore, I'm left with 0 equals x squared minus x minus 6. So now the main thing I want to do is determine, is this factorable? And we look at this and we say, yeah, it is factorable. We can factor this. What two numbers multiply to give you negative 6 but add to give you negative 1? That could be x minus 3 times x plus 2. Now that we have, since we factored it, we have a product that's equal to 0. So now I can apply the 0 product property. And then when I do that, I solve. Therefore, I can say x equals 3 or x equals negative 2. But before I go ahead and say, all right, I'm done, let's go back and check these two solutions and make sure they're not extraneous, meaning that they're both going to satisfy our equations. Because if x equals 3 or if x equals negative 2, are either one of my denominators ever going to equal 0? And the answer to this case is no. So since they're not going to equal 0, these, are, these can both be our solutions to our rational equation. Thanks.